Got a little piece of old school LMP content coming for you. The nice thing I like about Nasty Red is I think the air conditioning actually works in this truck. What is up, loud and proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today. Yesterday was a very big day, a lot of fun. We got Jonathan, the winner of the giveaway, his truck. And for anybody out there who thinks that I cherry picked somebody, which is very, very few people, but probably like 5% out of the 100, I, I did not cherry pick anybody for the giveaway. You're like, oh, he's conveniently two hours. Conveniently, like I have a lot of, I have a ton of fans in the Midwest, like a ton of fans in the Midwest. Um, and it's actually illegal to hand pick somebody if you are hosting a sweepstick. So no, I did not pick. It is illegally legitimately done. I had nothing to do with it other than, you know, basically delivering the truck to the guy. I don't even handle all the legal documentation that gets signed over by him or anything. So um, it's out of my hands at that point. Anyways, guys, you guys are absolutely awesome. We are actually in nasty red, as you can probably tell with the, the headache crack in the back and the flatbed and everything, and the fact that I walked up to it and started it up. We are going to go pick up a couple of big square bales and throw them on the back. These are 800 to 1,000 pound square bales, and you know, the bed of this truck can handle 2,000 pounds. It's not a big deal, especially with the airbags on there and everything. Thing. Um, and we're not going to be abusing the thing. We're going to take it nice and easy, but a couple of things I wanted to go through. Um, Nasty Red just wants to fly, but I'm just taking it real easy. Um, this compound system, man, this pusher compound system just, it just, it just wants more and more fuel. It just wants more and more and more um, to be able to create so much boost. It, it's just crazy, but absolutely love it. But my original goal for today's video was to put some Anthem wheels on the non-intercooled first gen, the two-wheel drive truck. However, I may have forgotten the keys to my trucks in 60 Flow's car, and then when he left to Pennsylvania, by the time I started to look for my keys, it was 11 o'clock, and he left at 6 a.m., and he was already back in Erie, Pennsylvania, and my keys were lost in his car, and he found them and said, yep, they're in here. So um, I don't have my first gen keys, so I can't really take my first gen to get the wheels and tires and alignment done, um, and nor do I have anything, any keys to drive the dually. So kind of made it a little bit of a problem, some complications, but we're gonna do all right. We're gonna make some content. So we're gonna throw some, throw some weight on here and uh, get to doing a little bit of hauling. So, and then a couple of other things I wanted to touch on. Build stuff coming up. I know everybody's been anxious on what's gonna be next now that, you know, Big Stinky's out, the dually was quote unquote, you know, done for the time being. We're probably still gonna do some stuff on the dually. It needs some interior revamping. It needs a clutch pretty soon. And a couple of other small things I'd like to get done just to make it that much better. In terms of the look of the truck and cosmetic stuff, suspension and all that type of stuff, um, I like the farm truck look. We might change it up, but as of now, I love the classic beefy farm truck look. I like that look, some people don't. For the goal I was shooting for in that truck, it fits my needs just great. So um, I love it, probably gonna keep it similar to that, but just do some other things that are uh, you know, must-haves to make the truck run better, drive better, stuff like that. More stuff for drivability purposes than just cosmetics and looks. But that's what we're planning on doing for that truck. And then for the first gen, the non-intercooled first gen, I'm probably gonna start to get some work done on that truck. I would love to intercool swap it, do some pusher intake system stuff on there, some intercool system stuff. I mean, just some other stuff, maybe do an HX35 turbo swap onto that. I don't know exactly what all the specs are gonna be, but once we kind of nail that down, you guys will know. The next build vehicle, you know, I wanna to try to have at least three to four vehicles is my goal that I can be working on at a time or have to make content with, I guess you could say. I'm planning to buy next a four door, a crew cab, short bed, 7.3 power stroke, preferably an F350, but an F250 will do me fine for the build. Uh, I would just prefer a 350. We'll make it work, you know, we'll make it work. So I've got my eye on a couple. I'm just really trying to nail down a couple of things that I have coming up with the ATV giveaway, making sure that's all sorted out and good to go. Which, by the way, this Thursday we are launching an ATV giveaway, which is going to be starting, you know, the 19th, and then it'll end August 20th. And then, and then basically how it's going to go is somebody's going to get drawn who's purchased merch, then somebody's going to be winning either a stack of cash, $5,000 to do whatever they please, buy a truck, buy a car, build the truck they have, you know, whatever, buy another ATV, I don't know. 
well, or they can pick up an ATV, the ATV that we have, which is a K&M Outlander 450, and have a really, really good time with that. So that's what that's the next giveaway coming up for the people who support me, buy my merch and stuff. I give them opportunities to win cool, cool stuff because why not? You know what I mean? Um, I've got some cool stuff, so I want to be able to give you guys cool stuff if you're supporting me. So that's what we're doing. Every chance that we get. We're almost to the property right now. We're going to load up the truck, but this is just kind of some updates for you guys on what we're trying to do here soon. Got the little Kubota 3240. I've been doing things that they told me I should never do. I've been doing things that they told me I could never do now. Never do, I could never do. I've been looking back and I'm the only one who ever knew. My dreams began to turn out. To miss my turn now. They in the club and I'm in the studio. Guess they gonna learn now. Told myself I want it all, gotta get it all. Never gonna burn out. I've been busy working, you busy flirting. Guess you get what you deserve now. Well, we got it all strapped on down. All I did was two straps across the midsection, one of the tightening end down on this side, and then I did the opposite effect where on this side the ratchet was. I'm doing the pulling down. I've never really hauled anything with this truck, honestly, like myself. Um, so this is going to be my first time actually feeling, you know, with some weight on the bed there, 800 to 1,000 pound bales, so probably between. Well, let's just say between 1,500 and 2,000 to be safe, you know, between 1,500 and 2,000 pounds there sitting on the bed. But um, it sits nice and high with the, these airbags, guys. Nothing touching there on the helpers. Nothing touching there on the helpers. Everything's just riding on that air, those airbags, which are just awesome doing their job. <laughs> We got her all loaded down, man. It feels good though, it feels really smooth on here. I haven't gotten on the road yet, going road speeds, but just going down the driveway thus far. Silky smooth in the rear end. Those airbags definitely soak it up a little bit more, so you're not so like low and feeling like you're, you have no suspension at all. Not sure how well you can see me in here, the lighting's pretty bad, but it's pretty smooth. It's going pretty smooth. The only thing that you gotta really watch, especially if you're running, man, this lighting is really awful. So the only thing that you really gotta watch is if you have a 20 by 12s and just a leveling kit, when you start to load down that rear end, even though it's not really squatting much with the airbags, still when you start to take those sharp turns and there's some compression back there, and uh, it, it makes it a little easier to rub your rub your tires up on the front fenders if you're not careful with your turn. So just pulling out of the driveway is just a real small incline, and I had to take a turn. I took it as wide as I could, but I had to take a little turn, and um, you could see it, uh, you could hear it kind of rubbed on the fenders a little bit, but so far so good, man. It's it's pulling pretty, it's going pretty smooth on there. Man, this truck, over all of our trucks, this one definitely has the most available boost of this compound system. Like it just wants to freaking pull low end, high end, it just wants to freaking move. I love it. Like I'm just feathering the throttle and we're going 55. And you almost don't even realize it. Not that the truck's like insanely fast, but it just, it doesn't require much attention or real effort to go, you know, to pick up your speeds in this truck anymore. I mean, it's just amazing, amazing, amazing the response that it has in the throttle. There's just so much power still available, like, you know, like we're probably never going to use, but it's there to really help with the low and high end. Well, everybody, that is going to put a wrap on this video. Just had to get the hay for uh, these big fellas right back here, a bunch of workhorses that we are actually boarding right now. Um, so I had to go and pick up some hay for them on the nasty red 
and figured, you know what, I haven't done a little video like this in a while, so I just figured, heck, I'll throw one up. That's why I'm sweating a lot right now. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for the support in the giveaway, the previous giveaway and the giveaway that's coming up. Um, like I said, you know, like, just like Jonathan said, he's like, man, he's like, it's worth it. He's like, you get to support a channel that you've been watching content on, you know, for a long time, um, which just goes into the content and stuff. You're buying cool stuff that you get to use, you get to wear, stuff that just says something about you, who you are, what your passions are. And then at the same time, you have a chance to win some super cool stuff, you know what I mean? Some really, really cool stuff in return to that support, you know what I mean, that you have a chance to win. So it's super, super cool stuff. Really appreciate you guys and everything that you guys do for me. So I wanna to try to do a lot for you. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this little video. If you did, smash that thumbs up, leave your comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.